Good evening. I'm Cecilia Faustina and welcome to Western Perspective. Governments have traditionally been dominated by older, seasoned political veterans. But with many political stalwarts moving on, their younger counterparts have been ready to replace them in their local communities. Are younger politicians the face of Perth City Council politics? We visited Perth's local councils to find out if younger politicians are making a difference. Local governments have traditionally been made up of the older generations of politicians. But with 37% of council employees aged over 50, local governments have inspired young people to make a difference in their local councils. I think that there's always room for experienced councillors and there's always room for people who know what they're doing and have had experience. One of them is Nicole Foxton. The 25-year-old Kennedy Baptist College teacher is a council member and the deputy mayor for the city of Melville. She's also running for council mayor. Nicole represents Melville's youth as one of the more experienced young council members. She says it's a great learning experience and she encourages more young people to take part in local government. Even just the experience of um, a campaign I think is so valuable and you may not be lucky this time but you never know, you get, might get in next time you try. Nicole isn't alone. Local government members have thrown their support behind young people in local government. Mayor of Coburn, Logan Howlett, says an influx of young people into local councils benefit youth and women in the community. We need more women who are putting their hand out for local government. The population is a mix of 50-50, male-female, and we need the voice of women to be heard. And what better way than having them represented at local, state or in the federal parliament arena? But while Perth's local community does encourage more youths, there are concerns the election process might limit young people. I don't think that the, um, the election process does encourage young people to be involved and to, um, to run for council. Um, just because of the fact that it's a postal vote, um, I found that a lot of um, people my age um, just don't bother because they're not used to posting letters and I think it would be a lot easier if it was an online vote. Fellow young council member Michael McPhail also feels people in council are also encouraging after joining East Fremantle's council at the age of 19. People love it. They love the fact that there's a young person um, joining on council, something that traditionally is for, for older people. Um, and when you grow up in the place then, and you grow up with all your friends and your family and um, they know you well and they want to support you, so the people in my community loved it and they actually are actually got behind me to help me get elected. Local government members hope there will be a more diverse age group in local government, as well as more engagement between youth and politics. I'm really impressed to see they're having a go, which is the really important part. Everyone who wants to go into politics, and I've met senior people in the last, just this couple of months about elections opening, they come to me, oh, I'm thinking about running, I said, well, you should have an opportunity, but everyone's scared of a failure process. If I don't succeed, what happens? I failed. And I think once you can get past that and say, well, no, I want to have a go, I think I can make a difference, I should go out there and sell myself to the wider community and hopefully they can vote for me to get me past levels. In the end, Nicole believes it's all about the motivation and experience to help the community. I think that it's obviously going to be a really, really steep learning curve when you are first elected, as it was when I was elected when I was 19. Um, but you learn quickly and generally I think you'll find that you're surrounded by good people that can help you out and they'll help you to get up to speed. As mentioned before, Nicole Foxen was running in the city of Melville's mayoral election during the making of the story. However, she wasn't successful, coming fourth in the race. Next week, our special report into the future of development of Perth's Television Hill. Until then, good night.